Super Bowl 57 is this weekend, and all eyes are on, either on the Chiefs or the Eagles or just the commercials. Joining us now to talk about the big football game, we have three local football experts, big coaches. <laughs> Coach, Coach Little John from, from BC, uh, Coach Denham from West High, and we have Coach Perucci all the way from Shafter. Thank you guys for coming on. Thanks Appreciate for having it. You. Yeah. All right. Uh, this, I feel like this is our own Fox News Sports segment uh, here. You do after the big game. Right. Uh, let's talk first off. Everybody's focused on the quarterbacks: Jalen Hurts, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Uh, who do you think is the better between the two? Gentlemen, come on. I don't know if you could have it because they're both two different quarterbacks. You yeah. Know, you have Patrick Mahomes that is just the master of creating something out of nothing, right? I mean, you, how many games, how many plays does right. he just extend with his legs, finds a, a receiver coming across the middle of the field for a big play? I think the thing that Jalen uh, brings is the dual threat in running the football. And I think that's where the Eagles actually mm. have a better – advantage over the Chiefs is the fact that they have the best offensive line in the league. They have a dual threat quarterback that can run the ball and pull it and take big big chunk yardage. And they have a very capable running back. As a coach, you guys yourself, do you focus more on uh, the pass or the rush? What's, oh, you got to stop the run. I more think important. you got to stop the run. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, I mean, in yeah. high school football, football, you got to run. You got to stop the run. So yeah, let me ball. bring in the defensive question then because <laughs> defense is what wins – Championships. All championships, yeah. right? Isn't that the case? Well, so they say. I mean, but you still got to have a quarterback at the end of the day to lead that defense. And, you know, I look at, two over the last, I think, the playoffs, the team that wins the turnover margin has been undefeated. So it's something that you have to factor in, I think, uh, in this case when you have two great offenses uh, and you got great defenses, whomever makes the least amount of mistakes. I think the offensive line plays a big key, though. I mean, it's right. a, a good side of defense that really is, oh, right. I think, sometimes underlooked. Well, maybe. I, I know, that. I know. what is it, uh, the Kelsey's mom is going to be looking <laughs> at that <laughs> right. very close. Right. Because son's the center. Uh, but it's funny, Coach Dunham, you were saying in the break that uh, pop culture plays a big role. How Huge is that? role. Huge role here. <laughs> okay, ex explain so, to so, all of us. If you're a fan of movies, Aaron, fan of movies? Huge, huge. 2012 Silver Linings Playbook. Have you seen the movie? Yes. Okay. So I the, like the movie 2012 better, but go ahead. Okay. So the subplot is the father-son relationship and the Philadelphia Eagles and the juju. Okay. And yeah. who has the juju. So uh, of all things, last night before I go to bed, what movie is on TV before I go to bed? Silver so, Linings Playbook. Oh, so with that being said, great love story movie. I'm going to go with pop culture here. The juju is with the Eagles. The Eagles win the game. Wow. wow. Second okay. reason. I got one more. Okay. okay, all right, hit us. My wife's favorite baseball player is Michael Nelson Trout. Huge Eagles fan. We got to go with the Eagles because of that. We got to go with the Eagles. So pop culture for you. <sighs> Man. Take the Eagles Ooh. based on I will, that juju I, and Michael Nelson Trout. I will give you that because Mark Wahlberg also starred as yes. uh, an Eagles player. Yes, he was. Was, was it underdog? No, that was Kurt Warner. Kurt was. Kurt, Kurt Warner. Warner, Warner. Warner. It was a great film, too. Invincible. 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 Yes. There it is. Yeah. There yes. was no film done by the Chiefs about the Chiefs. There you go. That I can think of. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Well, sure, because see, <laughs> Not we, sure that we, matters, we yeah, made yeah. a bet here. If the Chiefs lose, I have to wear a wig in every weather forecast. Oh, really? Okay. So that be, do, do they I have that? I mean, I like do you guys that. have that costume in the back? Where you, I mean, they you do. Got they got a department. mullet and everything. Oh, right, right on. on. It's all looking great. But let's let's go. Over. So you go. You have the Eagles. Who do you have? I'm actually going to go with the Chiefs because I don't think I don't think. Either defense is going to really be able to stop either offense consistently. So I think it's going to be 31 28. Wow. Uh, Chiefs. I, I think it's going to be a close game, too. Close game. I'm leaning towards the Chiefs, but not for any particular reason. Coach Dunham, you're the only one. If you win, Take we're going to bring it. Well, can, we, can we bring you guys back on and do like a yeah, Monday morning Monday quarterback? Sure, absolutely. Let's go. All right. Monday morning quarterback. We're going we're gonna to have it right here. With these three coaches, we're going to find out who was correct. That is Monday morning. Thank you guys so much for coming in. Thanks, Thanks for having really us. really appreciate that. Appreciate